subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello friends welcome to the intellectual lab we are going to start a new training mcsa on windows server 2019 so in this uh, training program we will cover different topics on your windows server 19 so our topics will be like that so first of all who is the target audience so what is the about of this course so this course is intended for the information technology professionals who have some experience in windows server and who are looking for the windows server like this uh, so in this uh, training program we will cover the compute and storage and networking and active directory in our own on your windows server 19 so this course will help them to update their knowledge and the skills related to the storage and compute for the windows server 2019 <coughs> so who can do this course so windows server administrators how who are relative new windows server administration related technologies and who want to learn more about the storage and compute features in windows server 2019 and it professionals with general it knowledge who are looking to gain the knowledge about the windows server particularly around the storage and compute technologies in the windows server 19 and before attending those class th those tutorials you must have a basic understanding of network fundamentals and aware and understanding of security best practices and understanding about some basics of active directory domain concepts basic knowledge of server hardware and have the experience supporting and configure the windows client operating system such as windows 8 or windows 10 So additionally students would benefit from have some previous windows server operating system experience such as the windows server 2012 or 16 administration so these are some prerequisites for this training program so our first outline or you can say our first book will be the install storage and compute with windows server 19 so in this part we will discuss different topics so our first module will be the installing upgrading and migrating the windows servers and their workloads number 2 configure the local storage number 3 implementing the enterprise storage solutions like the iSCSI or fiber channel in the four we discuss about the storage space and data reduplications In the module fifth, we discuss how to install and configure Hyper-V and their virtual machines, deploying and manage the Windows servers with and Hyper-V containers. Then in the module seven, we discuss about the high availability and disaster recoveries for your Windows server 2019, and implementing the failover clustings and implementing the failover clustings with Windows server 16 Hyper-V and Windows server 19 Hyper-V. Okay. implementing the load balancing over the servers and creating and managing deployment of image managing monitoring and maintaining your virtual machines installation so like that we have total 12 modules in our part 1 in part 2 so part 2 about the networking with windows server 19 So in this, we we plan and implement the IPv4 networks, implement the DHCP, implement the IPv4, implement the DNS services, implement and manage the uh, Internet Protocol Access Management (IPAM) to manage multiple DNS and DHCP servers. In module six, we configure the remote access like the routing or netting services. In the module seven, we discuss about the direct access. Uh, 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 discuss about the implement of VPNs, implementing the networking for branch offices. Configure some advanced networking features and impl. Discuss a little bit about the software defined 
networking. And our third book is about identity with your Windows Server 19. So in this, we discuss about the installation and configuration with Windows Server. Uh, installation and configure of your domain controller, managing your ADDS objects, advanced ADDS infrastructure management, implementing and administering the ADDS sites and replications, implementing the group policies, managing the user settings with group policies, securing your Active Directory domain services, deploy and manage the Active Directory certificate services, deploying and managing the certificates, using the Windows Server 19, implement the administration, administering the ADDFS, your federation service, your write management services, synchronize your Active Directory with Microsoft Azure Active Directory, and monitoring and managing your ADDFS. So like that, we have total 13 modules in our last book, Identity with Windows Server 19. So this is our, all our course content. So you can join this training program. So I will upload all the video tutorials on my channel Anti Virtual Lab. So to get the latest notification update, subscribe this channel and press bell icon. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video.